What's up, it's Marco back on the Say Shocker channel. And yesterday, history has made as two American managers faced off against each other for the first time ever in a top five league. As Jesse March's RB Leipzig defeated Pellegrino Matarazzo's VFP Stuttgart in a Bundesliga match. And man, it was just very interesting to see. I tuned in for that one. And it's just great to see how far these guys have come. And we've talked about how far the players have come a lot. So today I want to talk about how far the managers have come and what the situation for American managers is. So, um, really have to talk about this. I mean, as good as it is for Mark and uh, Pellegrino, I mean, you really have to go to the MLS to talk about uh, American coaches because outside of them abroad, there's Joe Enox in Bundesliga 3, who is pretty promising, and then you got Chinese Super League in, like, third tier of Scandinavia and stuff like that. So, yeah, going over to the MLS, I mean, it's pretty easy to see how far we've come. I mean, tactics have come a far away, player development, and... Reputation I'll get to, but uh, tactically it is kind of hard to gauge because tactics around the world have developed so much lately. I mean, like in 2008, Manchester United won the Champions League in a 4-4-2, but um, no disrespect to Alex Ferguson. He's a great, but still pretty basic tactically. And uh, But I do think players have, or managers have really developed. Maybe that's due to players being able to handle more, but I feel like they've come a long way. I mean... Like, you look at the likes of Columbus, LA Galaxy, Real Salt Lake, uh, Colorado, Philadelphia, and Dallas. There's, like, a bit of a new generation of American managers doing really well. Last season, the Supporters' Shield and the MLS Cup were won by Jim Curtin's Philadelphia and Caleb Porter's Columbus team. And both of them have their own uh, tactical style. With uh, Philadelphia in particular, they got that uh, no-winger setup, attacking fullbacks, keeping a lot of the ball. In addition, like, a lot of these clubs have been doing well developing players. Philadelphia and Dallas have pretty famous academies at this point. We all saw Lake. They're putting through a lot of really good players. Uh, Columbus did well with Aiden Morris. Colorado with Cole Bassett. Uh, LA Galaxy, they're putting through a lot of players as well. And uh, teams are having a lot more of the ball and playing more progressive. And in addition, the MLS itself is really de uh, developing a lot of talent. Like as opposed to players developing in colleges or overseas, the academies have come a long way. So I feel like the managers have come pretty far. Like there's a pretty clear improvement. Um, you still see guys like Bruce Arena and Bob Bradley doing well, but... I feel like the new generation of American managers are looking pretty good. Even in the national team, I mean, the team's tactics might not be anything special, but we experiment with three at the backs, attacking wing backs, and we're building out of the back a lot more. So I feel like we've come a long way. I feel like despite that, the reputation still isn't that great. I mean, both Jesse Mark and uh, Pellegrino, they kind of had to work up their way to their positions, I mean, as assistants. And while that's obviously a good thing, you'll need to see them uh, grind their way to the top. I mean, taking a step back, I mean, Jesse Marks, he was the best manager in the MLS, and he had to go from being the guy at New York Red Bull to being an assistant at RB Leipzig, then he was shipped out to Austria at Salzburg, and now after proving himself, he can be the guy, because I don't feel like they trusted his work at the MLS to hold up, but now that he's proven himself, he can be that guy. But, uh, yeah, because of that, I don't feel like the reputation is the best, and Bob Bradley certainly didn't help that out at Swansea. I feel like we're in a similar place with managers than we were with players about five years ago, where you can see, like, guys starting to come up. You've got the Jesse Mark and Pellegrino in the Bundesliga. You've got a couple of really talented guys, but it's not really there yet, and I feel like there's still a stigma around our guys. But, uh, you know, we saw how quickly that could change. I mean, just from in 2016, there really weren't that many Americans abroad, to now where, geez, it's not even big news when a guy goes to Norwich. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's pretty great to see. And I feel like it's only going to get better for the managers. I mean, think about how many high-profile players we have yet to enter management. I mean, Clint Dempsey, Demarcus Beasley, Eddie Johnson seems to be doing really well working with players. Maybe you can translate that to a good managerial career. So once these guys with, like, a respectable European pedigree enter the scene and they start doing really well, I feel like the American managers will start to gain some respect. And you can start to see some of those MLS guys, like the Jim Curtins, the Caleb Porters, Maybe they can go abroad and really start to just just develop even more, get our system better. Because I feel like the players are at the point where they're really strong, but uh, the managers might have to catch up. Because if we think about it, like this is our first like really good generation of just talented players going abroad. And while well, had Greg Berhalter did go abroad and he was doing well, but uh, we don't we haven't really had a generation of managers who have gone overseas. Right now, as I mentioned before, we got Greg Berhalter, Brian McBride's in there, so some good players, but we might have to get to the point where our managerial staff needs to keep up with our players, and we have to keep bringing in good guys. And as much as I'd love to see uh, 
Jesse March or Pellegrino managing the national team, man, I, I would really love to see that. I, I mean, they got to think about their own career. I mean, you can't just hold up, like, becoming one of the greats just to uh, basically stall out an international job. I mean, Pep Guardiola's not doing that. Jose Mourinho didn't do that. Like, Vincente Del Bosque did, but that was at the end of his career. And, man, maybe we get Jesse eventually, but I don't feel like he's going to stop his career. So we got to keep succeeding with these managers. they got to keep doing well because – by 2026, we got to have a great guy in there. and I think I really like Greg Berhalter, but I kind of like him for... I really like it is a strong word. I don't really like him at all. But um, I like what he does with the culture. I feel like there's been a change with that. At the same time, part of me feel like that's down to the players because, yeah, I, I feel like that's down to the players more than uh, Berhalter himself. But I like the idea of him being there just the players coach type guy but I don't feel like he's good enough tactically to get to the next level even in these tournaments that we've won recently uh it's been very close and honestly kind of lucky I mean well we had two set piece goals against Mexico uh the first time and uh and this time it was <laughs> left it really late so I- I'm not too high on him right now so I really want to see these managers develop and keep getting better and just keep up with our players. Yeah. So, man, really happy for Jesse and Pellegrino. I uh, was very excited to see. Man, that's some great performances by them. And, yeah, that's all we talk about. See you.